Well, we're in our front viewport and I've hidden the nose cone and the base. So we're left with these now. Cylinders 2, 3, and 4. Okay, well, I'm going to select cylinder 2, pop up to our modify panel, and then I'm going to go attach, attach that one, and attach that one. And then let's call this prop underscore housing for want of a better description. Press return. Well, let's now move on to the propellers. Um, we'll just zoom out a little bit. Now, even though it says that we're in the front viewport and we're looking at our orthographic as though we were stood in front of it we're actually looking here from the viewpoint of the pilot now it is important to remember because if we were stood at the front the propellers would be going anti-clockwise but from the viewpoint of the pilot then the props are going clockwise and that's very important because of the design of the propellers. Let me explain. Right, here we are. Now, we're stood in front of the Messerschmitt and from our perspective, those props will be going anti-clockwise. But from the pilots, they're going clockwise. Now, we have to make sure that these props are positioned correctly so that they have their root. Up here is the tip this is the leading edge and this is the trailing edge so to model this correctly we really need to be in the back viewport okay but we're going to use the front viewport to get um, our initial dimensions right well let's close that down um, we don't need that anymore so well we'll see it need it actually turn attach off first now deselect let's go into our create panel um, I'm gonna go for extended primitives and I want a capsule we'll just create this very quickly so about there push it back give it some depth E for our rotate tool and let's I'll take that 90 degrees. Pull that down a little bit. W for our select and move tool. We'll pull that there. Okay, into our modify panel. Height. I'm going to pull that down a little bit. Um, so it will be, well, bring that down a touch more that up a little bit more don't want to be faffing around with it too much and we'll say OK on that um, sides 12 height segments leave that at 1 radius yep I think we'll call that it OK so let's now convert this down to an editable poly pop into our perspective viewport now it's not lined up at the moment but what I want to do is just zoom in and we're going to go into polygons ignore back facing I want to select these polygons here let's just come round press shift actually then our select tool we can just select those there and that one there zoom back round and now down to extrude just increase that a little bit more say OK and now we can pop into our left viewport zoom 
come back as we can see it's set it up there so W for our select to move up to the root let's move this over here and there we go Just pop that into there for a moment so we can see it yep that's fine and up to our modifier list pop down and I think we'll try an FFD 2 by 2 by 2 okay let's pop in switch it on um, control points let's have a look at this one first of all let's move that right in so it's there like that into our perspective viewport let's just come around here now because I want to have a bit of a look okay let's select all of those R for our scale tool just scale that in a little bit there okay now we collapse this so right click convert to editable poly come on it hasn't done it let's try again convert to editable poly thank you front viewport um, vertices actually those vertices are fine let's go W for our select and move tool and let's pull those out a little bit there into perspective actually let's go left and then perspective go zoom it's alright mine's just playing up a little bit okay R for our scale tool want to pull those in a little bit there just to start giving it that defined tight edge there so that's the leading edge this is the trailing edge here just pull out a little bit that's fine up to editable poly now what I need to do is have this edge now twisted I wonder I wonder perhaps okay let's go into modify list let's try a 2x2x2 two by two by two. open this up control points let's grab those control points there E for our rotate tool what I want to do is just rotate it slightly at the base that's not too bad let's collapse this so convert to editable poly zoom in W for our select and move tool now let's get this over here a little bit zoom in select our vertices what I want to do is just select those vertices up there ignore back facing fine are they all selected yes let's pull these down a little bit into there that looks good um, I might actually just take this pull it in a little bit there it's getting those and playing around with them for a bit that doesn't look too bad pull back Okay, let's pop up to our root. Apply a turbo smooth. How many iterations? Let's have a look. That looks okay ish. Maybe a little bit 
down there. Can we just move that over a little bit more? Just to get it nicely seated and in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go R for our scale tool and just scale that there a little bit. W. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, let's collapse that. Convert to editable poly. Let's pop into our back view. Now into hierarchy, effect pivot only. I'm going to grab that pivot, bring it down to the center on that line there. Let's switch that off. Up to tools, array, rotate 360, 3, preview. Let's say OK. Unhide tail, fuselage. Let's unhide these. Propeller. Unhide cone, static, base. What else? Front wing, cockpit. Let's select that, that, that. Uh, we'll select prop housing as well. Give it a grey colour. Say OK. Into perspective. Zoom back a little bit. Turn around. Let's go render again, and this time perspective, perspective, say render. And there we go. Now, I will admit, I could spend a lot more time modeling these props, but the basic principle is root, tip, leading edge, trailing edge. The trailing edge is thinner, and the base is twisted in this case to the right well we do have a bit more to do um, as far as certain things on the aircraft is concerned but mindful of the time we'll continue that in the next session okay I'll catch you later